Hey, what's up guys? I'm David Scott Bowles. I'm a wedding and portrait photographer from Southern California. And today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite techniques that I feel is underused in Lightroom. Let's go ahead and jump into Lightroom and take a look. Now, this is going to be the image that we're gonna be working with. Um, I shot this probably early this year. This is uh, from an editorial session that I did with a model named Allison. She's a great model. Um, this is actually straight out of the camera and there's not really much editing that needs to be done to it. Uh, this was all lit with window light only. If you could tell, you could kind of see the big window in her eyes right there. So the only thing that we wanna do and the tool that we're gonna be looking at today is um, going to be within our brush tool right here. But let's do a quick little edit on this just to make this pop a little more and then we'll move on to that tool, so. All right, so let's look at the little before and after right here. That's basically where we started and we just did some minor adjustments just to kind of brighten the image overall. So the tool that we're gonna be looking at today is within our brush tool. So we're gonna go over to our brush tool, we're gonna to click on it. Then we're gonna go down and we're gonna look right here at the masking side. So it won't pop up unless you actually use the tool. So what we're gonna do is we are going to kind of paint along the side of her face right here. And we are going to be burning the side of her face and darkening. So basically we're gonna be doing dodging and burning with this tool. Um, this is a super easy, quick way to dodge and burn without having to go into Photoshop and really mess around with the image. And you still, honestly, I feel like you get a really good result. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of dodge, excuse me, burn all these dark areas right here. I like to go into her like eyebrows, make those dark a little bit. You wanna avoid like the nose and the shadows and stuff like this, but what I'd like to do is kind of almost paint in a Rembrandt light or Rembrandt shadow. So I like to dial it down like crazy to where you can look at it and be like, it's pretty drastic, right? And then you can kind of go back up like this. So now this is where this tool comes in really, really clutch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to range mask. We're gonna turn that on to luminance. We're gonna pull it down to our shadow side. And then if you want, you can actually click this luminance, show luminance mask. And this is gonna show everything that's basically being affected within the image. I smoothen this out a little bit or smooth this out a little bit just so it's almost like 90% is what we're looking for. Perfect. So turn this off. And if you could see, this is just a very, well, that's the whole thing right there. So if we flip between this, you can kind of see just what it did, right? And what I like to do as well is I like to take the texture down and just kind of smoothen her skin out a little bit. So I'm gonna do this multiple times. So I'm gonna go just right here and I'm gonna bring this down just a little more. A little more dramatic feel to it. So same thing, now we are gonna dodge. So dodge is going to basically be essentially lighting, lightening the images or lightening the highlights of the image. So we're going to click on the brush tool once more and we're just gonna lighten it. So obviously our exposure right now is down. We will fix that, but I actually like to start down so we kind of see what we're doing. And right here over her hand you know the good thing about using a mask is you don't have to be perfect like you don't have to draw within the lines because the mask is going to do that for us so we click luminance mask slide this to our highlights now i always like to check it see where we're at like this part right here i'm gonna take off just right there and we're gonna smoothen this out a little bit as well and let's look at that real quick and we're just gonna bump this up, just like that. And bring that texture down as well, again, so it's nice and smooth. And that's it. I mean, super simple. Let's look at the before and after. Um, what I like to do also is 
once you do your dodging and burning, kind of go look over the image. Like in my opinion, I feel like it's obviously a little too hot right here. So what I would like to do is actually just kind of turn down the whole image just a tad to where you see the detail, boom, right there. So let's look at a before and after. That's before and that's after. All right, so I hope you liked that super quick video. I hope I described everything properly. This is my first kind of video like this, but leave a comment down below. Let me know how I did. Um, if you guys wanna see more videos like this, please let me know. I try to only edit in Lightroom, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of Lightroom tutorials and stuff like that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. It would help me a lot if you guys would hit that subscribe button, turn on notification bell so you guys could be notified when I post more videos and leave a comment down below, share it to a friend. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.